Okay, a lot of times in uh, machine shops, of course, there's machinists, designers, and engineers. I'm a machinist, I'm a designer, I'm not an engineer. I am actually two-time uh, dropout from engineering school. Um, sometimes there's a little conflict between these venues. And what I wanted to talk about was the best engineer I ever worked with. And he came into the shop, he brought in, this a long time ago when money was worth more, he brought in a part for an electronic pig for a pipeline to search out and do things. He said, this piece here, we had a crash with it, it's bent a little bit, but it's $210,000 for this piece here and we'd like you to fix it. How are you going to start working on it? Because I'm responsible for that, he said. And I said, well, I'm going to take a number 12 rosebud, would be my suggestion, heat it up till it nukes like the sun, and then I'd hit it with a 20-pound sledge. And the man said, that sounds like a good start to me. And he said, thank you for letting me know what you're going to do. I appreciate your honesty. And he took off. We worked on a bunch of things. William R. Barbie. I uh, worked for a company that did uh, technical work for Alaska Pipeline for sensing problems with the line. And he was a good engineer. And that's way too long, ain't it? It's 124, yeah. Yeah. But, hmm. Well, whatever. 